Hi, everybody. Welcome into Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm your host, Cooper Husky. Well, it's a beautiful day here in the Walla Walla Valley, the coolest day we've had in this month of July. In the low 80s, a slight breeze blowing in and some bright blue skies overhead. Perfect weather for baseball, and the Sweets try to win their series here tonight against the Yakima Valley Pippins. Before we preview tonight, let's look back at last night. It was a high-scoring affair between the Pippins and the Sweets. 14-8 was the final score. Fortunately, that fell Yakima's way. The Sweets jumped up to a 5-1 lead after the first two innings, and they hadn't blown a four-run lead or more this season but they just couldn't keep Yakima off the board as they put up at least one run in the final eight innings to get up to 14. It was tied at seven after five, but two runs in the top of the six led to Yakima getting the lead, a lead they would not relinquish for the rest of the game. Three errors on the field and just a lot of walks. 13 walks from Sweets pitching didn't do them any favors, so looking to limit that here tonight. You think if you put up eight runs, you should be good in for the win. So if the Sweets can put up another eight and then have fewer mistakes on the mound and on the defensive side, they should be in a good spot to win this game. Looking ahead at tonight, it's Christmas in July here on July 25th, our Christmas-themed game. Looking forward to all the fun and just extracurricular stuff that goes along with Christmas in July. We're going to be playing Christmas songs. We'll probably have some Christmas-themed stuff going on on our broadcast, so looking forward to that between you and I here on the Sweets Digital Network. Now on the baseball side, this series is even at one game apiece. Sweets looking for their third series win of the season and second in a row at home as they took two of three from the Corvallis Knights back before the All-Star break July 12th through July 14th. At the regular season series with the Yakima Valley Pippins, the Battle of the Basin as it's known. Yakima currently leads 3-2. to two. The last two years, 2022 and 2023, have ended in 3-3 three, three ties. If the Sweets can get the win here tonight, they will do the same. In those 22 and 23 seasons, Walla Walla won that sixth game to force the 3-3 three, three tie. So hoping third time's a charm and they can do it again here in 2024. Well, we'll take a quick break when we come back chatting with manager Jared Molna. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweets Live, the pregame show. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kind of is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm joined here with manager Jared Molna and coach a high-scoring game 14-8 to yesterday. It just felt like you couldn't keep each team off the board. Yeah, a uh, ton of runs, ton of offense. Um, unfortunately, some of it came from free stuff on both ends, so uh, not necessarily clean baseball throughout the nine innings. But, yeah, a ton of runs on the board. Hopefully uh, we're putting, up, putting them up the right way tonight. Bottom of the lineup really seemed to do the job well. Joel Esparza with a three-hit game. J.J. Moran with a two-hit game. Those guys that have been seven, eight, nine in the lineup really came through last night. Will that bump them up in the lineups in these final few games, or is it good to, like, know you have that power there towards the end of the lineup? Yeah, I think we're going to probably keep it consistent. Those guys have done a really good job. Uh, so the guys on the top half, you know, it's just one of those nights where the bottom really carried the load there. Um, honestly, in my opinion, uh, enough to enough to win a ball game. Have we done enough on the defensive side and limited uh, their opportunities there? But um, yeah, the 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 lineup is uh, doing their job right now. We just got to play a little bit cleaner defense and uh, put a stop to those big innings over there. All right, looking at the festivities last night, home run derby, a more exciting home run derby than the one we had in Yakima. 50 dingers between the six batters across the two teams, and J.J. Moran came out winning that one, 13 home runs overall. What were your thoughts on the derby? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a little bit uh, more exciting than the one there in Yakima. Uh, seeing a few bit, few more balls leave the yard. Um, anytime you put a metal bat in these guys' hands, uh, it's uh, they could put on a show. So it was uh, awesome to see all six guys compete, but especially our three guys do a really good job in each round. And then for JJ to kind of go bonkers there in the last one to win was was awesome. Yeah, great scene. So looking ahead towards tonight, final game against the Acoma Valley Pippins. Series is tied at one game apiece here. Looking for our third series win overall, second in a row here at home. What's going to be the key? You said playing a little bit cleaner defensively. Where does that start? Does that start on the mound or in the infield? Everything starts on the mound, so it's going to come down to pound in the strike zone. Uh, Hunter did a really good job of that in his uh, pen day the, the, a few nights ago, so excited to hand him the rock and go compete for us. Um, but yeah, it's going to start there, and as long as we're applying pressure and making those guys move the bats, we're going to get plenty of opportunities to get ourselves off the field, so it's going to come down to making plays, and then, like we always talk about, stringing together quality at-bats against uh, against a bunch of quality arms over there. So, um, yeah, another opportunity. Excited to go do it, bring good energy, and uh, get going early. All right, Coach. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'll leave you with this. Merry Christmas here on Christmas in July. Thanks, Coach. All right, we'll take a break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweet Slot, the pregame show. Walla Walla Valley Honda is now underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. The same great automotive family is here for all your needs. Service, parts, new Hondas, and top quality used vehicles, all backed by expert staff with the highest standards in the industry. After all, you're family at underwriter Honda of Walla Walla and deserve the best. Visit us at UnderriderHonda of Walla Walla .com to schedule service or a test drive today. Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. Walk in as a guest, drive off as family. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm joined here with Joel Esparza. And Joel, you had a heck of a day at the plate yesterday. Three hits. It's your first three hit game of the year. What were you seeing there at the plate? Uh, yeah, I was just really trying to be aggressive. One of them was a hit and run, so just trying to execute something on the right side with the second baseman crashing. Worked out pretty good. And then uh, the other one just kind of squ uh, squirted through the middle of the infield, and Luca was able to beat it out, which helped me out definitely. And then the other line drive through the shortstop in third base. I was trying to be aggressive to the fastball. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be aggressive to the fastball early. I saw him throwing a lot of fastballs down the middle, first pitch to the guys before him, uh, before uh, ahead of me. So I was just really trying to turn on something, get something done. All right. What are you working on most this summer here at the plate? Uh, I'm really just trying to find my groove, trying to find something I can stick with to take into the upcoming fall season at my school. Uh, working on my confidence and being able to hit this level of pitching. Awesome. I want to talk about the defensive side now. 13 walks from Sweets pitching, not necessarily a number you want to see, but after a few of those walks, you would go up there on the mound. What are you telling those guys? Uh, usually, like with Caden, I'm just trying to get his confidence up. He's definitely one of those guys that needs to be boosted up. He's young, so just trying to like lead him, lead him the way through, um, just get his confidence up, find his groove, stuff like that. I mean, that's really the biggest thing is just having confidence in your stuff and being able to relax and clear your mind and just throw it up there. All right, we're getting to the final few series here in the regular season. What are you going to remember most from this year? Oh, I mean, there's a lot of things, honestly. My host family, they're, they're great. The team here, a lot of the guys are like, you know, we're really close. But I mean, the atmosphere, it's definitely different playing in a bunch in front of a bunch of fans coming from a small school. We don't really get too many fans. So, I mean, just the whole experience, honestly, nothing you can, nothing better. All right, Joel, well, thank you so much for joining us here today. We'll take one more break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweets Live, the pregame show. Anything else? Yeah, can I get some napkins? Sure, that'll be $1. For a napkin? Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascend checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. Well, now let's take a look at the matchup on the mound. 
On the mound for the Sweets is Hunter Polly, a right-hander right here from Walla Walla, Washington. He'll be a junior at Georgia Gwinnett College in the fall, making his third start of the season, eighth appearance overall, coming in with an 0-3 record and a 4-5A ERA. Last time on the mound was in the series opener of this three-game set with the Yakima Valley Pippins. He tossed an inning, no runs off, no hits, no walks, two strikeouts. It was the ninth inning, and those two strikeouts got everybody at Borleski Stadium a free scoop of ice cream from Pine Cone Creamery. On the season, he has 17 and two-thirds innings pitch and 19 strikeouts. So for a team that needs to pound the strike zone, like manager Jared Molna said, Hunter Polly is the right guy to get that started. On the mound for the Yakima Valley Pippins is Ethan Salshider, a lefty from Tacoma, Washington. He'll be a senior at the University of Hawaii Hilo in the fall, making his ninth start of the season, coming in with a 3-4 record and a 4-2-9 ERA. He has yet to pitch against the Walla Walla Sweets. Last start was July 19th at the Wenatchee Apple Sox, a game the Pippins lost 2-9. He tossed five innings, gave up seven runs off ten hits, two walks, and two strikeouts. Well, I'll about do it for us here on Sweets Live, the pregame show. I thank my guest manager, Jared Molna, and Joel Esparza for joining me today. Always enjoy chatting with you guys here on the Sweets pregame show. I want to thank you, the viewer, as well for making Sweets Live a part of your day. Thank you so much for watching us. First pitch is set for 635 right here on the Sweets Digital Network. I'll have the call for you then. I'll see you soon. I've been Cooper Husky, and this has been Sweets Live, the pregame show.